so let me start my presentation and talk about uh, Fibaro and Nice Group, which is part of the Fibaro. So Fibaro was acquired two years ago by Italian uh, group uh, called Nice. So we are Fibaro Nice Group company right now. Our headquarter is in Poznan in Poland and all manufacturer site is also in Poland. We have a huge manufacturing facility. So uh, we are everywhere already because we are 10 years on the market. We are in each on each continent. We are of course members Z-Wave Alliance and, and CDIA. So our product was recognized and awarded for the innovation and uh, uh, a lot of innovation uh, awards from CDIA and CES. So you could see us for the last eight years in US on the CDIA trade shows, uh, trade show and, and uh, CES. As you can see, we are everywhere already, you know, eight years, it's a pretty long time, you know, for the company like, like us and we grow to over, you know, 2,000, uh, 2,500 employees in the whole world. So we are everywhere. For eight years, we are in United States already and uh, ADI is one of our main, you know, distributors in United States and Canada. So I want to talk about uh, Fibaro Smart Home Solution. So as, as you know, you know, Smart Home, it's, it's, it's a future. Everybody has at least, you know, one device right, right now in your, you know, household and you are able to control using the smart home, uh, smart app, uh, any mobile device, smartphone, uh, watch or, or, or tablet to control the devices. Our goal is to integrate all these devices within one app, you know, because if you have a few different manufacturers, it's hard to combine and actually there is no really other app like this, which integrates as many devices uh, as possible. So, uh, only thing you need is a smart device and uh, Wi-Fi or, or internet access. And I said Wi-Fi or internet access, it's not the same because some people even have a, a Wi-Fi, just the, just the uh, router to create the Wi-Fi to be able locally control like on the summer houses or, uh, or boats and be able to control the system. So we are not relying on the cloud, uh, to be able to connect with a uh, Fibaro system. So you can control lights and any possible devices. And I'm gonna show you the slide where we are uh, integrating lighting control, uh, any doors, garage doors, gates, any electrical appliances. Even if you cannot really control them, we do have a way to control at least on off and have a power management, which is really important. We do integrate heating control, uh, any hardwired and wireless uh, devices, Z-Wave or existing hardwired devices can be converted to Z-Wave as well. So we do the monitoring of temperature, uh, watering. We do also have an integration with a multimedia. One of the famous uh, sensors in the world is a Fibaro flat sensor. I'm gonna talk about the sensor and show you. Uh, more details about it later. Uh, in some other countries, we do have already carbon monoxide detection and uh, CO. So we do have our own security system, kind of alarm self monitoring system. And of course, uh, because of most of our devices, wireless devices have a temperature sensor, uh, we do have a kind of, you know, fire protection. So the system can send you the notification about temperature being too high or too low. So if we look at the IoT world right now, I just wanna show you a few examples how it started. You know, first we had the analog systems which are obsolete already, you know, they are just, nobody's manufacturing anymore these devices, but this is how it started. And after, you know, few years, uh, more devices became controlled digitally. So we have a bunch of, you know, manufacturers 
who are offering you know the products you can probably you know buy uh, them everywhere on the internet Home Depot Menards or any other store which sells electronics and uh, you can do the basic control of these devices devices using the mobile uh, phone or, or uh, tablet the problem is to integrate all these devices together every time you want to change state of one device you have to go to different app to control different part of the devices so we do have a few uh, really known protocols already digital protocols like a bluetooth zigbee wi-fi uh, wi-fi z-wave uh, thread or home kit and each one offers something different uh, fibaro decided to go with uh, z-wave devices because we see it as uh, the most stable and more uh, reliable system in the world we do offer also some home kit devices because that was you know demand from uh, our customers and uh, Apple HomeKit users who, who like to expand their system using the uh, Apple TV and, and HomeKit devices. The most of the problems with these devices when it comes to Wi-Fi or even HomeKit, if you have a more than 50 devices on your network, it's really hard to troubleshoot uh, because each device slows down your Wi-Fi. So to be separate from the Wi-Fi, to make sure we can still use a Wi-Fi or kids can use it for, you know, Netflix, YouTube and any other, you know, social media, uh, we decided to go with a, with a Z-Wave because it has its own, you know, dedicated frequency. And the only way to use a Wi-Fi is just to communicate with, with that system. But the system by itself talks to each other using the separate uh, frequency. So uh, at the very end, if you will have any questions, I will answer them, but I just want to keep going with my presentation first and show you all uh, Fibaro devices. So uh, why Z-Wave? Because it's pretty easy to uh, install. Uh, most of the Fibaro uh, devices are like a sensors are battery powered, so it doesn't require any additional wiring or we can use an existing wiring when it comes to micro modules just connect uh, put behind the existing switch and change uh, the way to control it to z-wave also the z-wave has a really fast two-way communication it's more and more affordable every year you know the devices are getting cheaper and cheaper you know uh, so uh, you can find them everywhere uh, also, Z-Wave offers really secure uh, encryption. So the same kind of encryption is used for the banking, online banking. So of course, anybody can break to any system, but the whole point is, you know, we are follow the, uh, the highest standards and using the, the highest secure uh, connection. Uh, when, when we talk about the Fibaro, you are not limited only to the Fibaro devices because we are Z-Wave manufacturers, so all devices are using the same standard and are compatible with uh, each other. The difference between the Fibaro is we offer any, uh, any possible solution, changing the parameters fully described. And I'm gonna show you a little bit later how it uh, looks like. Most of the companies, you know, nine of 10 right now are using Z-Wave because it's the the most reliable uh, standards and uh, users can you know add their own devices to improve or expand their own system so we work with a company see, like uh, AT&T or, or Camcast uh, they do have their own solution that they are buying from us also uh, our sensors and devices so Z-Wave works uh, on the mesh network. So each hardwired device works as a repeater. So we don't have to buy any additional extenders. Uh, Z-Wave standards is 231 devices. If you want to use more, you can add additional hub and create kind of subsystem. But the main programming is done on one master controller. Uh, 
So, like I mentioned before, Z-Wave doesn't slow down the Wi-Fi. So we are using Wi-Fi only to connect to the system, which has a software embedded in our controller locally. We do not rely on the cloud service. So even if there is no internet connection, you can still control and connect to the system as soon as your uh, Wi-Fi is working or even without the router, if devices are programmed, you can just still control them. There is no any issues if there is no internet connection. So you don't even need a software or internet connection to program the system. You just need the network connection and use a uh, IP address of our controller to program uh, your system. Also, you don't need any dedicated uh, static IP address because our system uh, offers it for free. Controller sends to our cloud service only the information where the hub is connected. And this is what you need only to control the and connect with a system. There is no also monthly fees for our system and a licensing fees. The only thing you have to do, you have to attend our certification training to become Fibaro installer and have an access to a lot of content you know, and I'm gonna talk about this later. Uh, this slide shows all the devices available in US right now. We do have a home centers, two hubs, one kind of entry level for small apartments, and home center two, uh, one of the fastest Z-Wave controllers in the world. It's kind of brain of our system. This is the only one piece you need as a brain for your system. Each hardwire device creates the mesh network, so can pass this signal information from one device to another in order to control with a, with a Fibaro system. Also, our system is uh, affordable, very user-friendly, has a very intuitive programming interface, and all the information you program, it's stored in, our, in your controller. We don't share any data online with anybody, so nobody can really have an access what you are doing, what time you are doing, what devices you are controlling. All devices have a power management, which is really important to, to do, you know, uh, any kind of troubleshooting when it comes to appliances or even lighting control. On this slide, I'm just showing you how easy you can do the programming. It has a nice uh, graphic where you basically drag and drop and put some information, label it, assign, and can connect almost any possible uh, device in your house. Our devices are certified as a Z-Wave Plus standard, so we are compatible with any uh, Z-Wave manufacturer carried by ADI like Leviton, GE, Jasco. We are also compatible with uh, some IP uh, manufacturers, lighting control like a Philips Hue. You can still use an existing uh, devices you already purchased, you already use uh, with a Fibaro system. Uh, in order to connect to our system to program, the only thing you need is a computer with an internet browser. So we are compatible with Edge, Chrome, Safari, any kind of computer or browser. System is Linux based, so you cannot, you know, talk about, you know, any issues with a Windows or, 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 or Apple software. It's very reliable and easy to, to, to configure, you know, as you can see on this example, we do have an integration uh, with uh, IP cameras, where we can control lights. Uh, we do offer some uh, database of the basic icons, but also you can uh, create your custom icons. You can take a picture and put in our system and uh, modify the system the way you want. There is no fees for the software and the licensing. So uh, there is no also limit for the users. So anybody who has a smart device and the application installed on the smart device 
can control the system without any fees. Uh, this is an example of our uh, smart home, uh, smartphone application where you can see uh, all devices grouped. The most often used devices are listed in, in the front page. Uh, so I'm just showing you user interface, which was, you know, a year ago awarded as well on CES. I had the innovation award. It's a very simple way to control and see all the devices uh, in your house. So our application offers uh, also the power management so you can see how much power some of the devices drains in this case because the RGBW is off it shows zero uh, or my ceiling cans are off it shows uh, zero but as soon as you turn it on you will see and you will get the notification about any uh, any failure of the device so let, let me talk about the the main brain of our system two controllers home center light uh, it's using the cortex processor most of the z-wave manufacturers have using uh, the same kind of processor because it's it's uh, very good for this purpose. Uh, also, we do have a home center too, which is the most advanced hub, the fastest hub in the world, which gives you more advanced settings. There is no really limitation of uh, scenes you are running or devices or whatever you wanna program and utilize any IP uh, device, or if you are advanced, programmer, you can even use a Lua code to program something. The, more, the main difference between these two devices are processor speed. So it's much more powerful than there is no really limit about, you know, how many devices or virtual devices or plugins you can add. This one has a limit only up to five because it's for the small apartment or used as a slave controller uh, to program dedicated space and extend the range. Both controllers needs to be connected hardwired because we don't want to rely only on Wi-Fi to be able to connect with uh, your smart device. Uh, let me talk first about hardwired devices because these devices are very important if you want to start doing any smart home application. You have to create the mesh network and each of these devices, as soon as you connect them to the system, creates the mesh network and the path to route any signal from any other device and create much bigger uh, range you know uh, to connect with our controller so rgbw controller it's the first in the world rgbw because we can control red green blue and white as well led strips any 12 24 volts low voltage uh, lights uh, the next device is a dimmer too. Uh, it's a dimmer which controls uh, any lighting load up to 125 uh, watts only. Uh, because we knew, you know, ahead that the, the world is going to LED and uh, incandescent lights right now in some places you cannot even buy or install you know like in california as far as i know you cannot really install any incandescent lights because they they just consume too much energy for the switches purposes we have a single switch up to 2500 watts to control some of the devices or even uh, put them behind the outlets to control any connected device uh, behind the outlet or behind the switch. And we do have a double switch to control two loads at the same time. So the same kind of uh, and size module controls two loads like a light and the fan or two uh, different lights in the kitchen or any other room. And we do have a, a just plug-in device like our wall plug. All of the devices have a range Z-Wave French tester. So as soon as you install it, you can see if you are within the Z-Wave range. Uh, we do offer also different solution to check it later, but I'm gonna show you in the next few slides. So wall plug, it's a basic on-off device with a uh, surge protection 
overload protection just on off device with a nice LED ring which indicates the power consumption or you can use it as a uh, nightlight. And we do have a smart implant, the smallest I think in the world Z-Wave device which has a, it's a input output device, has a two binary inputs. You can connect up to six digital temperature uh, sensors and two independent outputs. So you can uh, dry contact, so you can control any binary device. You can get the feedback from the binary device, two different binary devices, and you can control also two different uh, outputs to different uh, dry contacts. And I'm going to show you later some examples how we can use these devices. So RGBW, this is just one of the example uh, how we can control RGBW or RGB LED strip. We do have a dedicated webinar, about one hour webinar, just talking about the, our RGBW module and what kind of lights and how you can utilize this device within your system. So Dimmer 2, uh, it's a unique device because it doesn't require neutral uh, to control your load. So in some old installation, if you don't have a neutral wire, you can still control it. And we do have a, a lot of, you know, developers uh, who are working on the old buildings, doing lighting in the hotels using our uh, Dimmer 2. So the dimmer too, as soon as you connect the load, it recognizes what kind of load it is and gives you the best way to control it. It works also with a you know, single pole or three, four way uh, combination with uh, switches. Single switch controls, just single uh, load or device. It could be electrical outlet in here. So it can be controlled with a switch and as well with your smart application. And we do have a double switch. And I'm showing here an example how to control fan and uh, light in the bathroom, just using the same module uh, in the, installed behind the switches in the box. Why Fibaro did choose the micro modules? Uh, you know, because it's an alternative way to control an existing installation. Also gives you a way to connect to any decora or standard or any different type of light switches, wall plates, you don't have to change them. And especially if the customer had a before custom made uh, this kind of plates or switches, you don't have to replace them and put just white or, uh, or, or ivory or bone color. You can utilize, you know, any existing on the market uh, binary or toggle switch or momentary switch. So uh, this is the way uh, to control the devices if you don't want to change an existing electrical installation. Of course, you cannot put the, our micro module uh, like a dimmer or switch behind the existing dimmer. So you have to use just regular toggle switch or uh, momentary switch. Our wall plug, like I said, basic plug-in to electrical outlet, and you can control uh, on off any device and program at what time exactly you wanna control it or based on the existing other devices, motion, door window sensor, you can turn on and off some of the devices. Our smart implant, this is just one of the examples. We do have a also dedicated webinar about smart implant, how you can utilize it and what kind of devices you can connect. In this case, I'm just showing you the overhead uh, hardwire door uh, window sensor I got installed in my garage and also additional hardwired uh, door sensor. So I can see the feedback about the state of this device. I can create custom icons when the garage door is open or closed and create the automation. In this case, I'm utilizing, utilizing only one binary output connected directly to my push button in the garage. But like I said, we want you to uh, understand the whole idea of the smart home and how you can do some sometimes work around without buying special devices. Because in this case, I'm just using the existing garage opener. It doesn't have to be smart uh, opener. Uh, 
So we do have a dedicated also webinar about the smart implant and what kind of devices you can connect and what uh, you can measure and check in your system. So other than applications, Fibaro created a group of SIM controllers which you can use without using your smartphone or smart, smart tablet. We do have a button in eight different colors where you can simply press up to five times or press and hold and control one or group of the devices any way you want. It can be opposite state, turn on, turn off, the certain level of the lights, or it can be used as a panic button for the security purposes. Uh, and I'm gonna show you more example what you can do uh, with these devices. Swipe sensor, it's a, mm, uh, it's a gesture sensor. So the picture shows the girl with a dirty hands, which means you don't have to touch anything. And especially these days, you don't have to sanitize any you know, light switches. You just basically wave your hand in front of it or do circle left, circle right. It has up, up to 12 different combinations or single gestures to control single or group of the devices. Also, we do have a key for a very personal device. Uh, you can have as many as, as you want, you know, in your uh, system and each one can be controlled or the same or different way. Let me show you a few examples what you can do with a, with a button. Eight different colors. I'm not showing the white one. I just forgot probably about the white one, but it's a very popular color. So what you can do, you can program, for example, lights. You can program some uh, since you use every day, like good morning, good night, use it for control, just the devices inside the room it's installed. You can control uh, your home fitter or lighting control. So any possible way. The only problem with this device, if I can say it's problem, is just to understand what did you program. So that's why we choose so many uh, different uh, colors so you can remember for example that the yellow one is dedicated for lighting green one for a green one for uh, outside lights or or your garden uh, you can also you know the kids love this device because you can use a mark and then write something make a small drawings you know and teach your kids or even you know older people how to control some devices without using smartphone you know because smart system should be uh, available for everybody not just for the people who knows how to use a smartphone or or, or tablets so another device our uh, swipe you basically wave your hand in front like up down left right or you can do double or even triple gesture just remember what did you program because it's a picture frame you can put your own picture or you can even you know print the description what the device does uh, waving up down put an arrows to be able con to control uh, some of the devices in your in your house and our key fab it's the the most advanced key fab in the world each button can be pressed single double triple or press and hold to control or one or group of the devices. You can also do the combinations, you know, a few different buttons to trigger some scenes or uh, security features. You can also arm, disarm the system using the combination of the uh, of our key fob. So you can also lock and unlock this device using the combination. This is an example of the combination to unlock it, to make it work. The otherwise, uh, you know, after 30 seconds, for example, or 60 seconds, it disables its functionality if you won't unlock it. So if you have it in your packet or someone unauthorized will grab your device, won't be able to control anything in the house. So it's very, you know, personal device. Uh, and you can program, like I said, you don't have to program all 24 different combinations, but you can program the most important and be able to uh, use it without taking, you know, your phone application or, or, or tablet. So it's really a fast device. Now, let me talk about the 
battery powered device. Battery powered device uh, uses the battery and the way it works within the Z-Wave or any other, you know, uh, wireless system, it sends the only informa information to the hub when it's tripped or when detects any, uh, like a temperature change. So it doesn't communicate constantly with a system just to be able to use a battery and preserve its life. Usually the battery life uh, is like a two or three years, depending, you know, how often you use this device. It's like an average uh, TV remote, you know, if you use it more often, you have to replace the battery more often. But, you know, same thing with a flat. Uh, if you don't flood your house too often, you know, the battery will last even five years. Like I got one in my system and I haven't replaced the battery yet. So door window sensor, you can connect to door uh, or window, has a temperature sensor. So it gives you also the feedback about the temperature. So for example, if somebody uh, will leave the door open and the temperature increase in the summertime or decrease in the winter time, it can turn on and off uh, your Z-Wave thermostat or send you the notification that the left was open for more than, for example, two minutes. So we put the temperature sensor because we know it's really important to get just additional feedback about the temperature. So uh, next sensor, it's our flat sensor, very simple to use. You just put it underneath the sink, behind the toilet, and uh, you can put it in the basement near the uh, sump pump. It's very sensitive. Uh, it has a three golden plated uh, sensors underneath telescopic sensors. When it detects any uh, moisture, it sends you the constant notification. Also has a temperature sensor, so it can send you the notification when the temperature is too low or if the temperature uh, increases too high or too fast. Another sensor, it's uh, our multi-sensor. The basic uh, functionality of this sensor, it's a motion, but it has also light sensor, accelerometer. So it's kind of multi-sensor, but it still counts as a multi-node, one device in your system. Uh, it has a LED which indicates the temperature. Uh, you can disable it, of course, some people don't like it but some people see it more attractive when it blinks and indicates the temperature every time motion is uh, detected. This is the example of the Fibaro smart uh, home system. This kind of pictures help people understand what they can do because if you won't show them any example what they control, what they can control, they won't even know. So like in this case, I'm having a motion sensor in the garage just to control the lights and smart implant to go control the garage opener. Uh, another room, it's like a, like a foyer. I do have a panic button just in case I can press and send the notifications to all the members about, you know, any uh, security concerns. Uh, we can control the lights, we can use an uh, existing hardwired door window sensor or motion sensor if we have one. And of course the motion sensor existing or, or the Fibaro one can control the lights based on the time of the day or motion. So these kind of examples are really helpful to sell even, you know, the system to show the customers what they can control and even after you can install these devices, you can show them how much energy they are using in a, any, any room they are installed. So it helps not only saves energy, because like in uh, uh, Texas, we don't want to hear about saving energy because energy is much cheaper than anywhere else in the US, but it's about the preserving the devices. You know, even if you leave the device on all the time or TV or some other equipment, it's uh, the components inside just, you know, burns out after the while. So even if the TV should last, you know, 30 years, if you keep it on for a long time, you know, it's gonna burn out much more faster. 
So it's about uh, energy saving, also devices saving, and first of all, about your safety and, and convenience. Of course, our system, it's compatible with a, a voice control system available on the market, like a Alexa. So the only thing you have to do is just install on your Alexa app a Fibaro skill, home, uh, smart home skill or custom skill in order to control these devices or control the scenes already programmed within Fibaro system. So uh, we were one of the first who developed our own voice recognition system, but because of the Alexa and uh, another one I'm going to show you, Google, we gave up on our own. There was no reason to, to improve these systems because these devices are available, uh, available in almost every household. So you can control also using the uh, voice control. We are keep adding uh, as many manufacturers, the most popular in the world as we can. We do work with Leviton, Fortresi, Danalak. We do work with Arasound, Hunter Douglas, uh, URC, MCO Home, uh, Philips Hue, as you can see. And we keep adding as many devices as we can and depending on the demand of, of, of the market. So. Uh, we are not the company who just did something and stopped doing this. No, we are keeping improving and adding more manufacturers. So a lot of manufacturers uh, are sending us their samples just to be integrated with our system or uh, they are using our uh, hubs, like a home center too, to test their own devices and make sure they are compatible with, uh, with our system. So. The way our system works, I'm going to show you the three different ways. We can, we can use a Fibaro hub and only our devices to create some smart home solution, or you can create, uh, or, or you can just put our gateway, connect our sensors and any third party and available at ADI Z-Wave uh, devices. Also, our devices, like I did mention before, are used by any other third party manufacturers Camcast is using our flat sensor. Uh, the home sync, home, we are compatible with a home sear. Some of the devices are compatible with a wing. Wink is very, very simple, basic controller, which doesn't give you so many features uh, like a, like a Fibaro or even smart things. We are compatible with a Mios, you know, uh, the Vera controllers. So, because we are Z-Wave, we should be compatible with uh, each other. Basic functionality of our devices should be available on every controller, but sometimes uh, the hub manufacturer has to add more additional features, parameters in order to fully utilize our devices. So unfortunately, it's up to manufacturer if they want to fully control our devices or just do the basic control. I'm gonna show you a few different uh, examples of the systems available on the market and, uh, and why Fibaro, it's, uh, it's better. It's first of all, it's less expensive. Uh, we are open system. What, what is really important for some guys who are doing, uh, who are programmers, we have an open API. So if you have any existing system, even Wi-Fi system, you can integrate our system just utilizing, you know, uh, our API, which is embedded inside the controller. You don't, you can visit our website to find more information, how to do uh, anything, how to be able to utilize that API. So we are open for everybody. We don't want to limit anybody uh, to be able to control uh, our system. Our devices also work with a control for URC smart things and uh, some of the devices works with a very basic with uh, wings, but uh, uh, wing, I'm sorry, but uh, we are in really tight cooperation with a URC. Uh, every new device we release on the market, we send them because they controller uh, using Z-Wave and uh, 
uh, we are really happy with our cooperation with, with them. So for you as an installer, so what's the benefits, you know, to use a Fibaro? First of all, it's pretty easy to learn and install the system. You just have to, uh, you just have to try it, you know, and see how easy uh, it's to program and create smart ecosystem. We do offer, we used to offer hands-on trainings, you know, when I was traveling across US and Canada, the way I was doing the trainings, I was usually inviting all of the participants to my table to be able to touch, you know, the system, do some basic programming, some changes in the system, because the hardest part is to start doing the first system. And that was the purpose of doing the hands-on trainings. Right now we do offer webinars and, uh, uh, certification uh, webinars which last two days for three hours with uh, short breaks uh, it's a very basic training because there is no way to show you all possible uh, functionality of our system so I'm showing how to add the devices how to create basic scenes or even more advanced scenes and show you how to integrate some third party devices like an IP camera. As soon as you become certified installer, you will have an access to Fibaro Academy and also, and also knowledge base where you can learn more, more about the devices. And only you as a certified installer will get the uh, tech support elsewhere you know, uh, dedicated to your system. We do offer also B2B tech support and also participating with uh, some trade shows with uh, our very active installers. So it's very important for the installer to manage the system remotely. That's why we offer also installer app. So from installer app, you are able to see your client system but uh, kind of just, it's like a backdoor to the system. See the status of these devices, uh, if the Z-Wave works properly, if the, uh, uh, our server works and connects with, uh, with your system. Uh, we do also promote our installers on our website, on social media. We do the interviews, we show the peaks and and job description, what can be done with a Fibara. So we are trying to help our installers to increase, you know, the business with a Fibara. Also, you know, we it's already 2020, any device you can buy on, on eBay. You know, some of the installers are even buying bundle from any distributor, even ADI and try to sell it on, on Amazon or uh, any, any other internet store. So we do check, you know, MRC prices, MSRP prices to make sure it's nobody is selling below, you know, MSRP price. So we do really care about uh, our installers and check these prices constantly. If someone sees the price below MSRP usually reports to us, or if we see it, we, uh, we try to cut this kind of uh, seller. The way it works to become Fibaro certified installer, you have to sign up for our training. We do the training, we give you the certificate, we give you an access to more tools uh, to become better installer, and we give you also uh, technical support. We don't want, we're trying to avoid the situation uh, when somebody is buying our system without testing it, without knowing how it works, go to the job site with a smartphone or iPad and trying to program it. No, it doesn't work that way. Fibaro system in uh, Europe, when we started, it was a DIY product, you know, so people were doing the home automation by ourselves. Right now, it's more and more advanced, more and more device you can connect, but you need some basic, you know, IP skills, at least to know, you know, how to change the IP address, how to connect to the system and the programming. It's very easy, doesn't require any, uh, any programming skills, but I also teach in our webinars how to utilize 
uh, simple Lua scripting. How to trigger the device the normal end user won't be able to do without the proper training. Uh, this is the example of our installer app. You can run it on your smartphone or you can run it on your computer. On your computer, you can see more uh, clients and it's much easier to manage. So what uh, it's only for certified installers. So no one else, whoever bought the system, whoever, you know, somehow got the system, even learned how to uh, program it. If it's not certified, he won't have an access to that system. So it doesn't get me an access directly to the programming side of the controller, but we can see the status of the system. So all the services like a www, which are connects with a, uh, with, a, with a system remotely, how the Z-Wave works, how the TCP or HC server works. It's showing if we have an internet connection, status of all the devices. Uh, it shows the mesh network, how the device connects to each other also shows you the status of created scenes and how the system triggered them. If there was any issue, it will you will see the report, you know what was the issue with uh, uh, any scene. You can do remotely firmware update or run system self-check and many, many more, you know. Some of our installers, uh, after a year, even charging the clients to do the basic monitoring. So whenever any issue uh, with a system shows up in the installer app, you as an installer, you will know probably first because even before even client notice anything, you can call him and schedule uh, service service trip, you know, or or just remotely try to solve the problem. So for the end user, uh, what's the benefit for the end user? The end user has just one system, you know, imagine having the ZigBee, Wi-Fi, Z-Wave and something else, few different applications, even if you are a really good programmer and you are able to combine some of them, it's much harder to troubleshoot, you know, few different protocols. With the Z-Wave, it's just much easier and we do offer just one application to control almost any possible device uh, in your home. It's user friendly. All devices available on the US market are UL certified. So there is no issue, you know, there is no any, uh, when it comes to the general builders asking about the certification for the product, all the products are UL certified. So right now, you know, when we started, there was like a, you know, only few uh, Z Wave manufacturers in the world right now. We have a over, you know, uh, over probably 1800 Z-Wave manufacturers because it's an open protocol right now. So anybody who wants to use a Z-Wave can implement it in their own devices. Also Z-Wave, it's a uh, Fibaro devices are uh, sensors are wireless. So it doesn't require any additional wiring, it's just utilizing existing wiring or just put the wireless devices pretty easy uh, to install. Of course, we support uh, Android platform and as well as uh, iOS, which is which is the Apple. So uh, please take a look at the resources we do offer for uh, our installers and our users as well. You can check any update you know about the Fibaro devices on our Fibaro website. You can find any manuals you know, any manual and it's uh, mobile friendly, so you can download it and check on your phone while you are doing installation. Knowledge base, it's available only for the certified installers as well as uh, Fibaro Academy. We do have also compatibility list where you can just go and check if the device you have, it's compatible with a system, with a, with a Fibaro system. Uh, Fibaro has also YouTube channel where you can find pretty cool videos and animations showing the integration, showing the uh, how to connect the device. So within a few minutes, you are able to uh, connect device to uh, our system. 
for more advanced users, we do have also the Fibaro forum. Usually on our Fibaro forum, we are getting all the ideas from the installers, what devices needs to be integrated or how to do the workaround to integrate something. It's really not integratable, you know. Uh, also Fibaro users, Fibaro, whoever has a Fibaro ID has a access to marketplace where we share some information how to do the integration with some devices like, you know, Apple TV, uh, Sonos, uh, Samsung, or any device can be integrated or using virtual device or using some third party uh, devices like a, a global cache. So anybody who is interested to become the Fibaro dealer or learn a little bit more, you know, after you, you are certified Fibaro installer about our uh, devices, please visit, you know, our website and you can find this link uh, where you can sign up uh, for any kind of available right now uh, training provided by Fibaro. Even if you have uh, uh, some ideas, you know, you want to talk about some specific devices, like for example, more detailed information about camera integration. I do offer, you know, uh, dedicated trainings for companies usually, or, or our distributors, just to talk about any specific uh, topic. So, Guys, uh, if you need any information, uh, if you have some questions, you can ask them right now uh, using the, our chat. I'm gonna take a look at the chat right now. Uh, please contact me directly at my email address. It's a.jablonski at fibaro.com or contact any uh, ADI branch. Usually if any of the customer as a question, you know, I'm receiving a lot of phone calls from uh, uh, ADI branches. They're passing me the information to the client, so we are in touch and I can help them, you know, to uh, find the solution, what they can do, and even help them with creating, you know, proposal for, for the clients. Uh, before we start any questions and uh, I will answer, I just want to Pass the microphone to AJ, who is in Louisville. He, wa he wants to talk uh, a little bit about how we do work with our ADI. AJ, are you there? I am, sir. Okay. Thank you very much, Adam. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for joining our webinar today. I uh, would also, again, like to thank Adam with Fabaro for giving us insight to his products and services. Um, it, just about anything that you or a customer can think of, um, you know, pretty much these days with smart devices, it can be done. Um, just give us a call uh, or email Adam, give Adam a call, either one, and we'll figure it out. Um, so it's, it's fun times with all of these smart devices. The rest of what's going on in the world, not so fun, but with all these devices and everything, yeah, you, you can do just about anything. Um, and I'd also like to thank Mike Maston for putting these training series together. Uh, again, I'm AJ with ADI and the Systems Group in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm the supervisor over the Fire Intrusion and Home Automation Group. Uh, we are here from 8 a.m. Eastern time to 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, here to answer your calls regarding Fabaro products or any other products that uh, ADI has to offer. For more than 25 years, the systems group has been providing best practices for customers, some ideas um, for different technologies that we deal with and how to use them in their everyday install. Uh, with these products, sky's the limit for the most part. Uh, do just about anything you want from a simple press of a button. So give us a call or email us or email Adam as well for the Fabaro products and we'll get to you. We'll uh, try to help you with whatever kind of products you need information on.